Okay, so this is my planner. And I want to do a little flip through for those that asked. I'm developing a system to do the track tracking the fitness my progress I need to make some changes in my life planner is a place to do it right don't want to carry a food diary and all that kind of stuff away separately so I went ahead and I got the fitness expansion pack for the happy planner and this is the package that comes in I know you've all seen it it's you know the same expansion pack everybody else is doing the walkthroughs with my happy planner is a mess um, but I wanted to show how I put it together and am doing my system. Now you'll see that September, October, these are the regular months. Um, I just got this this month. I took out the prior months. That's my old planner. And I just did a cutoff, moved into this planner this month. Uh, what I did do was I took out the extra. This is an 18-month planner. I don't need 18 months to carry around in my purse. I did want room for the fitness, so I took about eight months out, left eight months, and kind of something like that. Anyways, so here we go, September, October for the regular planner. And it's just, you know, your everyday planner. I haven't planned, obviously, in those months yet. <clears throat> and what I did is then I chose instead of putting the month, one month after another month I chose to do a fitness section and this is my fitness section and then again September October November I did these these tabs come blank so I did the next four months if I use these months I'll continue to get the next package and rebuild you can't really one of the suggestions I saw on YouTube was to put it behind a month but say for this example I would not be able to put December behind December because here's the last weeks of December right you flip it over if I put it right here and it said December fitness this is January so this is my goals and stuff for January and it matches and it puts a divider right in the middle and it didn't make sense to me I didn't want to break up my goals for January in the December section so I chose to do it this way. So let's go into September. I'm using this full month view for the fitness calendar. Uh, you'll notice I didn't want to use black numbers in here. It's just too dark too much. I did on a couple of them. This one I didn't. Um, so I'm going to use this as meal planning and goals for my month. The goals, you know, things like setting up my fitness planner, finding a local place to do some exercising, a dance class, a Zumba class, I don't know. But these are my goals for the month. And my meal planning, which we're in the middle of, I just set this up, so I haven't filled this all out. And we're in the middle of uh, two kids moving out this week, so meal planning will be a little different. We're going to get rid of leftovers before we start something new. So there's that. But this is what I'm doing with my weekly view. It's a nice way they laid it out. I did not enjoy putting these stickers on. Most of them are crooked. I will just have to live with that. As my husband was so nice to point out last night. We have, I'm sorry if my waist is shaky. I'm really nervous. It's my first video to share. So you go into here, you have your food log, your, um, which is what I'm using this for. And it's really nice because you can add up your calories. And then it even has a place for a calorie total. Anyways, my first goal is just becoming aware of what I'm eating. And then I'm going to move into planning. Exercise. It's got a hydration thing, so that's something I'll be able to take out of my other pages and add here. And not, oops, sorry, not have to do double. Um, I've also changed this because I have a really hard time sleeping. And that affects my energy for exercising, of course my step counter of course I didn't wear my Fitbit so this was a holiday so this is kind of a write-off this is actually the day that I decided to get my planner I bought it this day put it in started tracking this is today so I haven't had it very long but I really like the way this is set up I think it's gonna work 
Um, I am going to track my sleeping habits and see if there's something I can do to be more proactive about getting better rest because I didn't do my Miracle Morning and that's a whole nother video on its own. I love Miracle Morning. It's about getting up an hour early and doing some things, one of which is exercise, to really set the pace for your day. Another is scribing, which could be planning. It, there's a whole, anyways, that's a whole nother dealio. I'm not going to worry about that here. If you're curious about it, let me know, and I will give you some details. It's a fabulous program to really make the most of your day and your life. Um, so let's see. I guess you can see all my goals. This is where I'm going to write my weight each week and my progress, and obviously you don't need to see that. <laughs> um, uh, there's there's a reason I was prompted to start this process. So then you go into October, same kind of dealio. I set it up. I haven't set up any goals. We're going to see how this month goes. This is the thing that I really like. So at the end of the month, at the end of September, there's this progress chart. And you can really, you know, take... I don't know if I'll do a selfie. I probably will. Um, I may just take a picture on my phone and print it in black and white and make it easy. Just washi it in. Um, taking notes on how you were successful. What didn't go well. I like how they word that. Not failure, but just what didn't go well. What we could change. Um, how do you feel about it? And giving yourself a reading about your effort. The only way this is going to work is if you're really honest about it. And then you go into the next month. They have these nice dashboards for motivation. You've all seen those, I'm sure, in the unboxings. And then it goes on. It repeats itself. So I think that it has a lot of 